John Mogridge, welcome, sir. Thank you, Darren. Nice to be here. I remember when we moved over to the Stormtrooper on the other stages, the Carbon Freezing Chamber and Cloud City, or Eastern Landing landing platform. And when you did move on to the Carbon Freeze set, you got to manhandle Harrison Ford. Well, in a sense, yeah, sort of. But it was going that way anyway. <laughs> <laughs> was there any byplay between the two of you? Not with me. I mean, others did, but I was a little bit not in awe of him. But he was he was quite a bit older than us. Matt, thirty-seven, and I was nineteen. So there's not really a lot in common, you know. So, mm. he, but he, he was very friendly with other people. What else happened on the Carbon Freeze set? Well, apart from it being for me, very high and dark. It was difficult to move about because you couldn't see. And you know, yeah. when you're on the edge, because there was you're like a guard in the place, you're on the steps there, and then there's a drop down that side, and it's dark. You can't see where you're going. You've got the, the stormtrooper's helmet on, which means you can only see sort of six feet in front of you. I mean, you, you don't look at your feet when you walk, but mm. you want to know where you're going. So it was a little bit dangerous in that respect. So I was a little bit wary on that one. And how long did they keep you under all that guff? Well, you took it off as soon as you could, you know. Once the scene's done, off it all came. And it used to, we used to get it off pretty quickly, you know. Apart from the, 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 the thigh parts, the, the chest part and the helmet, they came off quickly. What about breaks for, say, bathroom breaks? <laughs> that was a little bit difficult because you had to have some with you because you had to zip up the back. Yeah. So you just tried to keep that to a minimum. On the carbon freeze set, there's all the steam going around. Yeah. How was that achieved? Well, they had little machines there making the steam. They were like little, little square boxes. Uh, I don't know how they made it, but that was just little boxes they had around. And then, of course, they did have smoke machines as well. So, but to, like when they were ready to shoot, they put the smoke up. So another thing to hamper the vision, really. Yeah, yeah. But luckily, we didn't have to move too far. So if you had to move, you counted your steps. Which leads us on to this series of behind-the-scenes pictures yeah. with the stormtroopers yeah, yeah, sitting on the steps of Cloud City. Helmets off. Tell us about what's going on, how long that wait is and whatnot. I'm not in that group, but I was in, in on there and uh, it was that was it could be waiting around a long time, setting it all up. That's what I think that, that with Kirshner, he was, I think he was, I'm not an expert, but I think he was a bit slow at setting up and filming and it could take a while. And I know, I say, that they, they got a little bit funny about costs. I think they were getting worried about costs at the time because it started to move it a little bit quicker. Especially after John Barry died, the second, he was, he was the second unit director. He died suddenly on the set. I was working on the set with him. And then they brought another guy in and they started to do a lot of stuff with the second unit as well. So, yeah, I think they were getting worried about costs and overrunning. Here's another view of that, um, that still. Yeah. Billy, Carrie, Harrison, all the troops waiting around. Do you recall the hold-ups there? And are you in that shot? I don't know if I'm... Not in that one, not under can see, because it's a bit blurry. But I remember sitting on the steps a lot, waiting, because that's the only place you could sit down. And you couldn't take your, your costume off, because they could get it on off quick, fairly quickly. You wanted to be back on set, so you just sort of sat down, and it used to stick up under your chin. And of course, you had the other thing that if you sat down, you got the clip on the back of your knees where the two plastic things on your, th on your legs uh, catch. Did you see that? The fitting room with all the stormtroopers laid out on the ground? That was, yeah, it's like wardrobe, yeah. We used to go in, uh, this is all the gear was like that, and it in all, all on clips uh, with like safety pins and laundry tags. Of course, you'd have to make sure your name's all and everything because you wouldn't get it back the next day. So were you wearing the same costume each and every day? Yeah, once you got it, it was down to you and you had to put it away properly. As I say, you have to name it and you have to put tags on it. Most of it's and then it'd be on an hanger, and then they'd hang it up like you see it on that picture. And then you go in the next time and say your name, or sometimes it's numbers, but generally it was names. What was the most magical thing about the Hoth hanger set for you? The size of it. I think that if I'm right, I don't know if it still exists, but that stage had just been built, and they still had you know stuff outside it. And when you go in there and you sit, and it, it was like a proper aircraft hanger, massive. Yeah, everything moved. I mean, you you look at it and you think I couldn't believe it. And of course, none of it. I mean, the Millennium Falcon was massive. And it was all there. It weren't just sort of like what you imagine it to be, like a little model like after watching the Thunderbirds and Stingray. You think it was going to be a little model, but it wasn't. I see that you've kept the records from your very shoot days, so that's yeah. pretty pretty good I thinking, kept, really. Well, it wasn't deliberate. It's just that I'm one of these bit of a people that old stuff. And I kept all my, all my contracts from my films. Are there any other scenes that you recall from Empire Strikes Back? No, the, well... The landing platform, we did that. There's, there's sometimes people put up, there's an Asian guy carrying a thing, I think it's an ice cream maker or something. That's right. And I said, oh, I remember him. I remember doing that scene. That was, that we, they were deleted scenes when there was evacuating Cloud City. 